All right. Good evening. And welcome to Truth Seekers Read. The Bible says, what? what? <laughs> All right. It is Friday, and we are here once again. But as we uh, begin, we want to let you know that we are here every Tuesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. and Friday. Tuesday from 7 to 9 p.m. and Thursday and Friday from 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. Of course, where we address all biblical topics such as the Trinity, the black Hebrew Israelites, the Mormons, the Jehovah Witnesses, all false cult doctrine, and anything that is biblical, right? Mm -hmm. Biblical living, counseling, you name it, we will address it, especially if you call in. And of course, the number to call in is 248-607-0611. That's 248-607-0611. But as always, before we get started, we would like to pray. So Lord, Heavenly Father, once again, we want to thank you for this day. Lord, we want to just ask that uh, you cover all those who are out there today who've lost loved ones. Lord, for all those who are out there who do not know you. Lord, we just want to pray for all those who are out there who need to receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we also want to thank you for the shed blood of your son yes. on the cross. Lord, that we all may be covered and we all may have an opportunity to have eternal salvation through you. Lord, we also want to pray for each and every person who's watching and listening. Lord, that they are taking notes and they being good Marines and going back and researching all things, Lord. Your word says, study to show thyself approved, Lord. So we urge them to make sure that after we study with them, that they go back and study on their own. Lord Jesus, we do all of these things in your most holy and your precious name. Amen. Amen. All right. So, uh, anyway, for your buying pre pleasure, first book, Selling Something Nobody Needs, False Doctrine Clean Me Up, But God Saved Me by Pastor Robert Anderson. In this book, Pastor Anderson gives you what it was to be in false doctrine, yet God pulled him out, cleaned him up, and straightened up his doctrine. So guess what that means? He has a, he has an insight that some people don't have, right? So he knows that God can still pull you up. Amen. He knows what it was to be hard-headed and not Amen. to listen to the Amen. word of God correctly. And then the Holy Spirit convicted him and what? Got him on the right path. This can also happen to you. Anybody who's what? Jehovah Witness, Black Hebrew Israelite, mm -hmm. Nation of Islam, a Mormon, mm -hmm. some a uh, hey, word faith doctrine. Mm -hmm. If you want the false doctrine, guess what? We have people out here who can help you, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and Pastor, we might as well say it now. Mm -hmm. and, say, and when you begin to learn the Bible as you should, you won't be inviting Juanita Bynum. Oh, yeah. You won't be inviting Juanita <laughs> Bynum to your church mm -hmm. to speak and let her run off with and, the money. And I and believe that. they got it down here in Detroit uh, coming up in August. Uh, what her name? Oh, the one fix fix Ayana Ayana, Ayana yeah, 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 yeah yeah she coming to town. Please tell me ain't no Christians running down there. Yeah, some of them gonna run down there, mm -hmm. Pastor. They don't know no better. Mm -hmm. But what can we do? But keep That's sounding right. the whistle. Also, essential, simple, easy, but biblical. This book was written by Pastor Robert Anderson and Pastor Emery Moss Jr. of Strictly Biblical Bible Teaching Ministries. In this book, they give you the essentials of Christian doctrine. Those things that. Christians must believe. It also will give you those things that you need to be aware of so people won't lead you away That's right. from, from true doctrine to false doctrine. Mm -hmm. So they won't have you out here claiming that you a super nation and that your skin is special mm. and that everybody should follow after you, mm -hmm. right? The essentials mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. Christian doctrine. Also, new hot off the press, Oh, the new book, the so-called Hebrew Israelites, formerly known as the what? black Hebrew Israelites. In this book, we give you the the essentials of how to contend and defend against the black Hebrew mm -hmm. Israelites. What they believe, what they say, and what scriptures that you can go to and refute their doctrines. Mm -hmm. I have been hearing from people who have the book, and they've been saying, listen, this book is on fire and it is excellent mm -hmm. for their teaching because you know why? They want to go out and they want to defend against the IUIC. Mm -hmm. They want to defend against the GOCC. Mm -hmm. They want to defend against ISUPK. Mm -hmm. They want to defend against anybody who is taking their That's cousins, right. brothers, sisters, That's and right. neighbors and sending them into false doctrine. That's right. So you can get all these books at www.trueseekersread.com. You can get them at Amazon. Mm -hmm. You can get them also in ebook. You can get them at Baker's mm -hmm. Bible and Bookstore in Detroit, Michigan. Right, and, and Pastor, if I may say, the ebook, if you get that out on on Amazon, it got you don't have to type the links in because no, we don't just talk; we give you the evidence. Amen. We go to the horse's mouth. As right. a matter of fact, that's why we we wrote it. And I'm talking to Andrew, but he yes. knows what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. 
because people was asking, well, well, where's the information? How do I get my, and so because we had been teaching on it, we said, well, I talked to him. I said, let's, let's uh, turn, and even with all the stuff that we had, we, we went back and had to find other things, and God, God is so good. Yes, he is. He sent you the horse. <laughs> <laughs> right out the horse's right mouth. Right out the horse's mouth. Many of these things that these young guys that come along think is viable, but then the older guys who were around when it was started, mm -hmm. you hear coming out of their mouth mm -hmm. how they come up with the hooks and whatnot and all the things where they believe saying that, uh, not me, I'm them, or I, I'm, I'm um, the reincarnation of, Moses, I'm the reincarnation of the yeah, all them things, you understand? And Nathaniel, he in the bunch. That's right. You're right, right. We ain't gonna let you know. I mean, we teach on it free, but Amen. the purpose of the book is to give you a resource uh -huh. right in hand, mm -hmm. and we just took it and laid it out. Did, did we do this to get rich? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So I iron, sharp, right. iron sharpens iron, yeah, right? Yeah, so we yes, did this yeah. to help the yeah, brothers yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. didn't do this because, oh, we just wanted to make a bunch of money that's off right, books. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Why none of these books were put mm -hmm. together. And, and 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 if 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 it wasn't the cult, the matter of expense, I'd give it to you. Exactly. As a matter of fact, we are giving it to them. We got all of the YouTube's and the, the videos and whatnot. <laughs> Have we asked for tithe and offering for the last two and a half years? So, Pastor, you mean you didn't do like the, the, the get it right, Robert, the, um, oh, I can't even say the, we, we, uh, what is it, the, the black, the one in the black outfit? Uh, uh, ISUPK? Is that who yeah, IUSBK. I, I, so you don't see her scrolling across the house, send in your donations and send in your time. You, you ain't seen that. None of that. None of that. Ever. You and we tell them the truth. Exactly. They lie. Exactly. <laughs> haven't asked you for one hour. All we're saying is it costs yeah. us to print the books and get together. So it, 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 right, know, right. we don't have it to give it away for you. That's, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. But again, like I say, you get the ebook. I mean, I think that you will love it because you can just... Click, Click right the on the links, and I think that's what the young man was talking about that you're mm -hmm. talking about. He can just go right, right, right to, to those, to those, to those, those sources. Yep, Amen. yep. And so that's all we're saying. You know, I go, we we promote your Bible, Pastor. This is what we promote, but because you got folks that want to try to uh, twist it and whatnot, no. we got to tell you what they say because many folks are getting hooked. Off skin. Many folks are getting hooked. Off That's skin right. colors. Skin color. <laughs> and, and what you call it, the Power Rangers. The Power Rangers. Look, you know, we yeah. like fashion, Pastor. Yeah. <laughs> you right. remember, remember right. back in the day, the platform shoes? And all and of that. that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, me and platform shoes. But, me and yeah. you talking to that, the Jack. Girls, all of that. Yeah. But, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, I say that jokingly. Mm -hmm. But those things catch folks' eyes. Mm -hmm. And folks, Satan is clever. He uses all those things, Amen. and yeah, because you want. I want to look like them. When the Panthers came out with the the, the Tam and the and the, the black jacket, jacket, folks want to be. Exactly. They want to identify yeah, with right. that. I want to identify with Christ. Amen. I didn't that's mean to say all that, but he everything else fails. Yeah, exactly. They come and go <laughs> all the time. All right. Same thing with the nation of Islam. Yeah. They, all, they put on the suits and then everybody want to have on the boat. Boat. <laughs> yeah. It's the same nonsense. None of that <laughs> stuff will bring you salvation. That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing. So as we're dealing today, as well uh, yesterday, we were dealing and showing through the book of John how the black Hebrew Israelites are doing the exact same thing in the exact same spirit mm. as uh, the Pharisees were doing back then who were unbelievers. They were attacking Christ with the uh, with the law of Moses. They were attacking all the things that he was doing, same way that they are attacking the church today. So if you attack Christ then, and you're using those same tactics to attack the church, which is the body of Christ, which the Bible explains, then you are doing the exact same thing, using the exact same spirit to what? Bring in fallacy, right? So today we also, we're gonna get back into that but we're also going to start to identify some things dealing Ooh, with, with, with cults. Mm -hmm. Right? So here it is. It says, There are subtle, secretive, and seductive luring people away from friends and family. The fundamental truth, they prey on people's emotions, 
uh, promising unconditional love and spiritual fulfillment, mm -hmm. but their beliefs and practices distort what the Bible says about God and his divine purposes. Those who are ensnared by cults wind up in a ditch of deception, thinking it is the closest thing to heaven on earth, and they believe the only people who can meet their emotional needs are their fellow ditch dwellers. So as we usually say, is that when you're in a think tank and everybody there thinks alike, then hey, nobody's going to go against that thinking process. Same thing you see with the Jehovah Witnesses, same thing you see with the Nation of Islam, same thing you see with the Hebrew Israelites. People are in their think tanks, and when they're stuck in those think tanks, they don't want to come outside of that because to them, everything that is there, thanks, Pastor, mm -hmm. is truth to them. But just because you think something is true does not mean that it is truly correct, right? So then for us, what do we do? We go to the Bible. We go to the Word of God. If you say that something says something, the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.21 to prove all things, hold fast to that which is true or good. So we're going to deal with some of those things today. Here's a, here's a definition of what a cult is. A cult is a sect or religious system that promotes doctrines that deviate from those of Orthodox Biblical Christianity. So now, if you are deviating from what the Bible says, from what the Bible says, from what Christianity teaches, right, then you are a cult of Christianity. Here's an example. The uh, Jehovah Witnesses teach that Jesus Christ is not God Almighty. Mm -hmm. But if we go, Pastor 2, and just jump over there. If we go over to Revelation 1 and 8, Revelation 1 and 8, mm -hmm. we'll read the doctrine, and then we'll back up and we'll read into it. We'll see that they have deviated. Mm -hmm. It says this, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Written down by John, but it was said by Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if he says he's the Almighty, mm -hmm. can you get any higher than that? <laughs> you cannot get all, you can't get any higher than Almighty. Mm -hmm. But Jehovah's Witnesses say that, hey, Jesus is just the mighty God. Mm -hmm. But as we see, he mm -hmm. says himself that he is Almighty, mm -hmm. right? Back me up to, uh, verse 1. Because this book is written about who? Christ. Mm -hmm. It says, the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show his servants, things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John. Pastor, you read something wrong. Yep. You said the revelation of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. well, what's he folks talking about waking up? They don't say nothing about the revelation of Israel. Because uh, it's a falsehood. It's oh, a okay. And, okay. And this is the thing, Pastor. You know, I've been talking to people about this, uh, some of these guys. And they keep saying that the nation is waking up. The nation is waking up. But when you ask them for a scripture mm -hmm. where they waking up, mm -hmm. they, oh, they want to go over to Ezekiel and say, the two sticks coming back together. <laughs> well, we understand that that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're saying it's occurring. Mm -hmm. That's not true. <laughs> you have deviated from the text, yeah, yeah, which yeah. makes you a cult. You yeah. are bringing something in mm -hmm. that is not mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. We already know when this happened. Mm -hmm. When Jesus Christ is what? Standing on the Mount of Olives and that the nation has ran off into the mountains because mm -hmm. the uh, Antichrist is trying to kill them. All, mm -hmm. Right? That's mm -hmm. when that happens. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you not you you it's not happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then too, just uh back here at verse one it says this the revelation of Jesus Christ. So these are the things that are revealed of Jesus Christ. That's what's being revealed yeah. in the book of Revelation. Yeah. yeah. So which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place, mm -hmm. and he sent and signified it by his angel mm -hmm. to his servant John who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of what? Hold on. Who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that he saw. Now, for everybody who's scared to read the book of Revelation, what this verse 3 says. Mm -hmm. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which which are written in it for the time is near. Now, Pastor, I just got I gotta bring this part out. Because in Revelation, 
chapter 14, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Revelation 12, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 22. It says, keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to give I'm gonna give everybody a footnote for this whole book, <laughs> of this book that it's talking about. The thing that you're supposed to do in the book of Revelation is worship God. Yeah. Period. Yep. See, sometimes when you read a book and that book is in is enclosed with these other mm -hmm. 65 books, mm -hmm. then they tend to think that, oh, that just means everything in it. No, this book is specific. Mm -hmm. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. right? Those things which are revealed about Christ. Mm -hmm. And this book's main central is to worship God, to mm -hmm. worship Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's what this book mm -hmm. is telling you. Mm -hmm. So then you can't take this book and go all the way back and say that it's talking about follow the commandments of Moses mm -hmm. because this book is specific unless you haven't studied this book and if you can you read it again blessed is he blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy <laughs> that's specific see because we know we had prophecy in the old we had prophecy uh, in the old uh, but it's what the this, words of this prophecy uh, and keep those things what, which are written in it uh, for the time is near, uh, right? Uh, it's very specific of what it's talking about mm -hmm. unless you you just want to lump it and mm -hmm. run around and do what you want to do. But that's how we start to what? Pick out who is teaching cult doctrine. Mm -hmm. well, let's keep going. Okay. Verse 4. It says, John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is, who was, and who is to come. And from the seven spirits who are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth. To him who loved us and washed us from our sin in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God mm -hmm. and Father. Now, question. I just want to say, this part is written, it's addressed to who? The seven churches. Mm -hmm. and, but, but, so this not this not addressed to Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay. To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. Pastor, if I may, ahead, can God. we add a little bit to show why it was not Israel? Sure. Because Israel rejected their Messiah. Amen. So now. Unless Israel all of a sudden became seven churches, because they always want to argue that they are the church. <laughs> right, right. But right. this is this right. is addressed to the what seven churches, churches, right? Which are made up of Jews and Gentile, individual Jews and Gentile, not the nation. The nation rejected their Messiah. Amen. So now, as we keep going, we can see that if here's the definition again. A cult is a sect or religious system that promotes doctrines that deviate from those mm -hmm. of orthodox biblical Christianity. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen. Right? And then verse 8, of course, we read, I am the Alpha. Wait, Pastor, can I step in again? Go ahead, Pastor. So, so this invisible thing that the Jehovah's Witness, that's what you were talking that's about earlier. Amen. <laughs> right. Every what? Every eye <laughs> will see him. So what's up with this night? Uh, give me that. 1914. 14. Uh-huh. That, that's just not true. <laughs> Jesus came back invisible. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Mm -hmm. He came back invisible. How do you know that he came back? <laughs> Deviates from the doctrine. Matter of fact, when you read uh, Revelation 1 and 8, it mm -hmm. goes back over to mm -hmm. Acts 1, I think, mm -hmm. between 6, 7, and 8, mm -hmm. where it says this same Christ that you see go up shall yes, come yes, back yes, in yes. a like manner. Yes, so yes. the Bible supports itself. That's right. Right? Doesn't need me to add anything mm -hmm. to it. I just need to know where the source is mm -hmm. that it backs itself up. <laughs> the Bible was perfect well before I got mm here. -hmm. Amen. Verse 9. Let's go oh, to verse 9, nine and, then okay. we'll, and then we'll come back. Okay. It says, I, John, both your brother and companion in what? The tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So it wasn't a physical thing when he getting ready to say. No, he was in the, he was in the spirit. Okay. Yeah. okay. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me. <laughs> 
A loud voice as of a trumpet. You, you know I gotta be funny. Go ahead. So he ain't seen no spiritual spiritual wool hat. No, he ain't seen no spiritual wool hat. This is how we know that people deviate from the doctrine. Don't worry, black Hebrew Israelites. We we we're gonna give y'all y'all share. It says, uh I'm at verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet saying, mm -hmm. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and what you see, write in a book and send it to what? Mm -hmm. The seven churches, mm -hmm. which are in Asia, right? Mm -hmm. To Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to, La and to Laodicea. Why mm -hmm. not in to Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not there? <laughs> I'm just saying the seven churches, mm -hmm. right? Once again, this is not addressed to Israel. So when you deviate, all of these churches were mixed mm -hmm. Jew and Gentile churches, mm -hmm. right? We see that all coming well together in the Book of Acts. Mm -hmm. We see that. There's no getting away from that. It says, Pastor, okay. uh, um. Well, I'll go ahead and say it, and if, if we get called on the head, we'll provide the evidence. But one of the reasons you brought up a good point, why not the church of of J Jerusalem? Because mm -hmm. we know what happened in Jerusalem. Everybody done scattered. Everybody. <laughs> Temple was destroyed. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, right. And Jews. And <laughs> Kill them, everybody. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Verse 12 says, Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, notice that once again he's in the spirit. Uh -huh. It's not like seven golden lampstands are mm -hmm. actually there, mm -hmm. right? And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like mm -hmm. the Son of Man, mm -hmm. clothed with a white garment down to the feet, mm -hmm. and girded about the chest with a golden band. Mm -hmm. His head, go mm -hmm. ahead, Pastor. Pastor, before you get that, mm -hmm. now here's what I had to learn and still learning. If you just go there and read that. It's assumed that you have read the Old Testament. It's assumed. Right, right, right. Amen. So you know these, these these symbols and whatnot, what they <laughs> what they mean. What they right. mean and whatnot. So you can follow along and won't get off course. Mm -hmm. But if you just jump in and think you're gonna run off with a doctrine, it's not gonna be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, right. Verse 14. His head and hair were white like wood. go. <laughs> oh. As white as snow. So he had snowballs on top of his head. I just want to know, right? His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Mm -hmm. He had in his right hand seven stars. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, mm -hmm. and his countenance was like the sun shining in its strength, mm -hmm. right? And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. Oh, Pastor, you got to be reading something wrong. See, when, when, when they fell at the angel, the angel said, Get up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a man like you. How come we don't get? Because he the almighty God, like he said. Oh. You're supposed to worship God. Yeah. You in the right position. He didn't stop it. No. <laughs> stop him for what? That's where you, God is sovereign. That's where you're supposed to be. <laughs> on your knees worshiping. Mm -hmm. But those who don't want to worship, guess what they're going to do? Mm -hmm. They're going to get a chance to fall to their knees too. Because every knee shall bow and every tongue shall mm -hmm. confess that Jesus Christ is. I heard somebody say the other day, even the atheists are going to believe. That's right. Even the atheists <laughs> will believe. At the they, white throne judgment. That's right. They're going to bow down and they're going to confess. You are God. Even though I didn't want to believe it, mm -hmm. you are God. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go to where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Verse 18, I am he who lives and was dead, mm -hmm. and behold, I am alive forevermore. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Pastor, once again, the red, I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, do I want to stop red? Now, go, go, look, Father, I hold my thoughts. Okay. Uh -huh. It says, write the things which you have seen. Oh, yeah, I'm back home. Okay. That, see, I got the highlights right here. Hit for me. Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, because you know, your witness want to try to take and say that's God, but not Jesus. But notice the, the next verse, mm -hmm. but now we know it, uh -huh. tells you, I am he who what? Lives and that was dead. <laughs> that ain't the father. That is not the father. 
Man, where, where, where do we get our clarity at? Mm -hmm. It's almost like God consistently gives us the evidence, and mm -hmm. some for some reason we blow past it. Mm -hmm. First line. The revelation of Jesus there Christ. There you go, right Boom. back. We said right back. Right back to the beginning. This is who it's revealing. It's not the revelation of the Father. No, this is Mother the revelation of, no. Jesus Christ. We can't get away from it. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Mm -hmm. Write the things which you have seen, mm -hmm. and the things which are, and the things which will take place after this. Mm -hmm. The mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, mm -hmm. and the seven and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. Mm -hmm. Now, some say angels, some say they could be pastors or right. ministers, mm -hmm. those who are ministers in mm -hmm. the churches. And the lampstands which you saw are the seven churches. Mm -hmm. Now. We're the seven, uh, we, we get the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, now they're divided up into the seven, and it's two and two and two. I, I just want to know. And, and Pastor, I'm going to do like you did yesterday. Mm -hmm. My right hand. Amen. <laughs> they in his hand. In his hand. <laughs> no getting away from that. He is, he's the almighty. Mm -hmm. Now, we were dealing with this, you know, uh, hair and black and dealing with all that. Mm -hmm. But I got a, another verse because if we if we taking things literally, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Can you please go to Isaiah chapter one? Isaiah. So we gotta deal with these Hebrew Israelites too because they are cult. Isaiah one there we go. And one verse one. No, I think we want to go from Isaiah one. Yes, we want verse 18. 18, okay. And you can start at 17 if you want. 17, okay. And it says this. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Now, we know in Isaiah, this is basically it's talking mm -hmm. to Israel. Right? Mm -hmm. It's telling them what to do. Mm -hmm. Why they don't do that today? <laughs> Why these so-called Israelites don't learn to do good and mm -hmm. seek justice mm -hmm. and rebuke the oppressor? Mm -hmm. Now, another part of this that I'm doing today is this, mm -hmm. right? The oppressor is safe. Mm -hmm. Why are they always trying to attack Esau? <laughs> it's almost like they aim not right. Mm -hmm. See, when you're working for the devil, you ain't going to attack the that's devil. That's right, that's right. I asked the guy earlier, he said, well, where is the devil? Mm -hmm. And how do you uh, contend against him? Mm -hmm. We're going to learn about that too. Mm -hmm. Verse 18, it says, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Wait a minute, Pastor. If the Lord said it, should I have a problem with it? Nope. That's why I say I don't debate. We supposed to reason together. <laughs> reason together, say that, that you. It don't mean that you agree with, but, but we reason it out. That's right. You say, well, let me check the evidence. Let me, let me, you know, the, the debate. I'm my mind closed while you talking. I'm thinking of my next response to you. Now there's others that debate. Good, good job because we learn not so much from the debate, but because of the information mm -hmm. they bring to the table. Amen. But 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 at the end of the day, you go your way. I go my way. Right. So what was the reason in that? Well, no reason. Right, right. So for me, that's why I said I don't debate. Mm -hmm. I rather reason, mm -hmm. give you scriptures. I don't have to win the argument. Right. All I have to do is say biblical. Because if I give you the biblical, when you go away, see, see pride may not let you say you, you right, right right here. Right. Right. But when you go away, if I gave you them scriptures, you got to deal with them scriptures after you leave. That's right. <laughs> leave Unless me. you just don't want to believe. There you go, Pastor. That's how pumped some people are. Verse 18 again, it says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet. Mm. Let me see. So they got red sins? <laughs> <laughs> they shall be as white as snow. So now you got clean sins? <laughs> Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Wait a minute. They got woolly sins. This is why we always have to uh -huh. attack the Hebrew Israelites. Uh -huh. Because their doctrine deviates. Uh -huh. As if they don't understand. So woolly hair uh -huh. and woolly skin. And woolly skin. <laughs> As I said something the other day, and I know this might upset some black some black folks, but it's okay. You've been upset before. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. If you make everybody in the Bible black, <laughs> then I'm going to say this. Y'all responsible for everything. Uh -huh. The first black on black crime uh -huh. was uh, with, um, come on, you know the, the name of the brothers. Um, I can't think of the name. I know it, but I can't think of it. 
Cain. Cain and Abel. Okay. There okay. you go. That's your first black on black crime. Because um, for them, everybody in the Bible is black. Yeah. Very, right? So then everybody. Stop blaming all these songs. That's right. Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh -huh. That's all you. That's, that's, all, that's all you. Everybody in there black, right? It's just to the black people, right? That's all on you. When you sold your brother Joseph into slavery, that's you. you started it. That's all on you. Yeah. What you mad about now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The roosters come home. Yeah. Don't be mad. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you just made everybody black yes. with Esau. Yeah. But God says I did all of this because of you. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, because yeah. of nobody else. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, mm -hmm. as we mm -hmm. keep going, mm -hmm. right? Let's get back. Let's get back. Oh, you just... gonna give us something else? I saw now. Though your sins be uh, scarlet, mm -hmm. uh, they shall be as white as snow. Uh -huh. Shall be. Wait a minute. You got? They got the law right here. They got the law. And law ain't making nothing white. Nothing. <laughs> they clean nothing. <laughs> Though they be as red, red like crimson, they sh they should be as wool. Well, let's go back to the other one. What? So that? Uh -huh. So wait a minute. They shall be as wool means what? Mm -hmm. They shall be clean. Not that they mm -hmm. shall be wooly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah, you don't have yeah. wooly sins. <laughs> Unless all sin is just, mm -hmm. oh, you know what? That's what it is. See, when we use a precept and we come in and use whatever we want, mm -hmm. I know why the sins are wooly. Mm -hmm. Because it started with Adam and he was black too. There you go. That's why, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I just, that's the illogical thinking of the black Hebrew Israelites. If you just make everybody black and everything's a black thing, then guess what? Everything's your fault. Yeah, yeah. Period. The dirt was black. The dirt was black. <laughs> Come on. Just run the gas. Just run it. But see, when you flip it and turn it back this way, yeah. now all of a sudden, ah, maybe see. it's not so easy and see and see in organization in that false doctrine that i don't want to say organization because they might get away with that okay and the okay. false doctrine that i was in mm -hmm. and then they even went so far that some would say take and say that the, the reason the white man got white was because of leprosy but wait a minute you got wait a minute so 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 um come on help me out here um what is sister name miriam okay so she went from black to white <laughs> i mean from black right right <laughs> This don't make sense. You cannot make this stuff up. But for anybody, when they when they using that, make sure you go back to Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter one, verse seventeen. Because I always want to know how. Where did you get your woolly sins from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They should be as wool. <laughs> Deviating from the scripture uh -huh. makes you what? And he, and it's, he right. It seems like you say uh, pure. Get you back against the white, the cleanness, the exactly. whiteness, and that go your white again. Even though it gives you some other things that is letting you know, you understand? Though, though, uh, come on, salon robber. Though your sins are like scarlet, they should be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So, right again, wool, snow. Same example we get in our revelation. Same one, but Pat, mm. they got to use a precept. See, when you use a precept, you got to yeah. go somewhere else yeah. to look for the word black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is why you cannot get a clear understanding <laughs> and conversation out of them, right? Mm -hmm. So we're also showing you Jehovah's Witnesses, cult, that uh, black Hebrew is alike. They are also a cult. They mm -hmm. deviate from what the text is saying, mm -hmm. all right? Going back. Here we go. We're going to go over to Matthew eight, Matthew chapter 1. Matthew 1. Uh-huh. And then here is the... here. Every cult, right, mm -hmm. as we see, varies from one or more fundamental doctrines mm -hmm. of the Christian faith, mm -hmm. right? So we know that Jesus Christ, to be, right, mm -hmm. God, he could not have been, he could not have had a human mother and a human father, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we go to Matthew chapter 1, and verse this is one. how they vary. Verse 1. Verse 1. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You want verse 18 and 23. Mm -hmm. See, you, you, you trained me one way, Pastor. I know. Now, now you're breaking the rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you know we ain't going through. We, we ain't going through all. That I know. Stuff. We got a lot to. But see, with. I work with him. I know yeah. he loves to read the novel. The whole thing. <laughs> the whole role. Right. So when we get the word varies, the first is V. Right. The virgin birth. Jesus Christ was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of a virgin, which we see. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. Mm -hmm. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, mm -hmm. before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Before, before they came, came together. together. 
Right? She was fine. She was fine with mm-hmm. child. Now we know what it says over in Genesis with, with, with Adam and Eve. It says that what? Adam knew his wife uh-huh. and she was found with child. Uh-huh. So there got to be some knowing uh-huh. before. And, and, <laughs> hey man, hey man. And Joseph didn't know her uh-huh. in that way. Uh-huh. And as we can see, when we go down to verse 23. Uh-huh. 23. Uh-huh. I wish I could blow that up for those Hebrews who were like, before they yeah. came together. together. <laughs> exactly. They already were engaged, betrothed. Uh-huh. Where was betrothed, but they had not Come together. I'll start at verse 22. Mm -hmm. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. So wait, Pastor. You know, I have to ask, being the good Bible student that I try to be. Amen. So you mean to tell me that if it was like what the so-called Hebrew Israel say, Behold. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, a young maiden should be with child. Well, which one? Which one? New spectacular. <laughs> so they just like to make this up. Behold. They try to make it as if. But a virgin? A virgin. Somebody ain't did it, and she can. News, uh, TV two. That's right. <laughs> News flash. So we see that you know when when it comes to the doctrine, it comes to what is being said. Mm-hmm. Those who vary from the scripture are what according mm-hmm. to the teaching. They mm-hmm. are a cult because they deviate from mm-hmm. what the doctrine of Christianity. And Pastor, Bob, I may point out you use two scriptures on that retina, and he didn't did a lot of talking. No. Two scriptures uh, before they came together, uh-huh. she was found and, and did here. Behold, uh, the virgin shall shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name uh, Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. You want to give us one more? We will Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go down to the last verse. Mm-hmm. Verse 24, 25. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll read 24 and 25. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife Mm -hmm. and did not know her (laughs) till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus. I almost would tell you to close the book, but I want you to get the book open. (laughs) So when the IUIC, when Daniel's over there teaching that, he is confirming that he is a cult. With all that much talking. Much speech, no evidence, (laughs) Mm -hmm. because they go in and they change the Mm -hmm. doctrine, right? See? All over and over. And see, what what you have to do, if you're noticing, notice now we we, we, uh, uh, seesaw back and forth, Mm -hmm. not making fun of them, but the foolishness to show when you have to take and try to change the text. That's what what, what, what what, what we're doing, showing how foolish it is to change the scripture, and it's simple what it is that it's saying. So what you have to take is stand flat-feeted with all that much talking and keep bringing them right back to the scripture. Yep, but. Mm-hmm. Here's what the scripture say. Yep, but. They have to say something else. Yep, but. Don't let them jump all over the place and carry you away from it. They must address these scriptures in context. Amen. Mm-hmm. Now, what we're going about? There's another one that's over in, uh, is it Genesis 3? Where, you see... No, not the seed, uh, where uh, Adam knew Eve. I think that's four. That's when she, uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah. Four. Yeah. yeah, 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 four and one. Right. This is four. We want to we give it just like Pius said. Now, he just told us that Joseph and um, Mary didn't mm-hmm. know each mm-hmm. other. But now here, now Adam knew Eve, his wife, knew Mm -hmm. He already knew who she was, right? Mm -hmm. But this is a different type of new. Mm -hmm. Now, Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord, Mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. So when you get to knowing somebody, some children get to coming around. And I think it's going to be one more. Let me go to, I believe it's 5-1. This is 5-5. I think it gives us that same language. 
Something that she said. Okay, come on, Robert. Where is it? Now I gotta be going past it. But that's Adam. It's what she says. Blah 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 blah. blah. And after he begot Seth, uh, I'm missing it now. But because it, it's what she says. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. Because sometimes it starts and come in. There, right, ah, there we 25. go, 25. All right. And Adam knew his wife again. again. Yeah. Knew his wife again. And she bore a son mm -hmm. and named him Seth. Mm -hmm. For God has appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, whom mm -hmm. Cain killed. Yeah, yeah. Right? In so, the Bible. It's right there. <laughs> so we see what is uh, going on. That's right. right. Don't let them get it. Don't let us get away with it. Amen. That's right. <laughs> we love to keep our foot to the... <laughs> That's right. <Work laughs> that make it easy. I don't want to say a whole lot. <laughs> no. Straight to the word of God and go from there. Going, right. Pastor. Here is the A, right? Mm -hmm. Another thing, once again, I'll read this again. A cult is a sect or religious system that promotes doctrines that deviate from those of Orthodox Biblical Christianity. Mm -hmm. Now we want to go to Romans. Roman. Around chapter 5. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to deal with here is those who attack the atonement. Mm -hmm. Five uh, uh, verses 8 and 9. Amen. It says, Only the shed blood of Jesus Christ can pay the penalty for personal sins. Right? Mm -hmm. And here we are. Mm -hmm. It says, But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now be now been justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him right through what mm -hmm. his blood mm -hmm. so not the law right do you see anything in here that adds the law to this mm -mm. all right pastor let's be fair mm -hmm. let's back up to verse one and read, <laughs> and read the verse 11 let's just be fair all right what is well that's the header the header says Faith triumphs in trouble. Mm -hmm. Therefore, having been justified by what? Faith. Faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Why is it through Jesus Christ? Because he is the propitiation for our sins. He is the one who died. He is the penalty paid mm -hmm. for our sins. Through whom also we have access by faith into his grace, mm -hmm. in which we, which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Right? Mm -hmm. So if we stand in it and rejoicing in it, that means the second covenant, then the, the second covenant already started, right? <laughs> Just that's what it says. That's right. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, mm -hmm. knowing that tribulation produces perseverance. Wait, mm -hmm. Pastor. We glory in, in tribulations, mm -hmm. right? So we're not uh, sitting around getting our miracle at midnight. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We're not sitting around saying, God, it's going to give us a hundredfold, a hundredfold mm -hmm. increase if we give them $10. Mm -hmm. We're not paying for miracles. We're not paying for blessings. Mm -hmm. So we're going to attack those false churches also. Mm -hmm. All right. and, and Pastor, glory and tribulation. Did they talk about the great tribulation? No. See, no. This one, when you bless us, those who are persecuted for my name's, name's sake. sake. Amen. <laughs> the great tribulation, you getting persecuted because you rejected <laughs> your Messiah. That's right. That's what's happening. <laughs> It says that verse 3, and not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, mm -hmm. knowing that tribulation does what? Produces perseverance, mm. and perseverance, character, mm -hmm. and character, hope. Mm -hmm. Now, hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us, mm -hmm. given to us, present tense, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, everybody who's talking about they waiting and they ain't got the spirit yet, guess what? It's because you're not a believer. So, this goes right along with what Jesus took and said. I'm going to say it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The comforter. That's right. And it ain't, come. it ain't that, that that black dude who embezzled all that money. No, it ain't. Called it himself the comforter in the Holy Spirit. What was his name? Uh, oh, um, I can't even think yeah, of Yeah, no, he's false. Right. <laughs> just, call, just call him false. That's right. That's what he is. <laughs> Verse 6. We're gonna be fair. We're and Sally, but let me say this: mm -hmm. This is why you do what you do. Amen. People were we, following it. That's right. See, forget him. People was following that. He, millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Now guess what? 
If I saw I would like millions of dollars, uh -huh. but I ain't going to hell for it. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So this is why we do what we do. Amen. This is why you on here three times a week and then all the other times that you're on here going back and forth. Because Amen. Satan knows that where there's a market, <laughs> oh, yeah. there's, oh, I said I got it right, right. Market and supply, right. uh, demand, demand and supply. Demand and supply. Amen. Right. There's a demand for false doctrine. That's right. Because they have what? Itching ears. Yeah. They want to hear those things. Yeah. My skin is special. Yeah. I'm special. Yes. Follow me. Yeah. Nonsense. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. It says, For when we were still without strength, mm -hmm. in due time Christ died for who? The <laughs> ungodly. <laughs> Not just Israel, the ungodly. But once again, was Adam an Israelite? No, he was not. How did sin come into the world? Through Adam, right? For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love towards us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Pastor, who was this book written to? Uh, Rome, Romans, the Romans. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. this not to the twelve tribes of Israel. No, oh, no, okay. no, no. When we look at mm -hmm. it, each book we see, mm -hmm. you have some mention mm -hmm. of Israel, but these books are not addressed. But, but he, to them. but he has to mention them because <laughs> because they're the ones persecuting, yes, killing, and yes, going against yes, everybody. Yes. Verse nine. Much more than having now been justified by His blood. We shall be saved from mm -hmm. the wrath through him. Mm -hmm. Notice the Romans didn't have to keep the law. Mm -hmm. But they justified through what? Mm -hmm. Through him and through his sacrifice. Mm -hmm. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, mm -hmm. much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Pastor, well, let me get you finish that first. Through whom we have what? Now received the reconciliation. The law didn't do it. Period. And it can't do it. And it's, and it's not getting no shots out while it's talking about Christ. Mm -hmm. So it ain't talking about, oh, and you kept the law mm -hmm. and now you have Christ. No, mm -hmm. it's not what it's saying. Christ and Christ alone. Mm -hmm. When you deviate from the doctrine, you start to do occultic practices. That's right. Uh-oh, here it is. Well, we got to read this part. Because I just mentioned it, right? Mm -hmm. Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world. No, Pastor, see, see, that go that world. See, see, world don't mean world. Oh, my that's, fault. That's, that's Israel. Right. Therefore, just as through one man <laughs> sin entered Israel. <laughs> and no. death through sin, it just don't work, right? It just don't sin, work. Sin entered. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So then that's what. Let's, let's really look at it close because mm. all this false indoctrination that they're doing. Mm -hmm. So if sin entered just through Israel because Israel was supposed to be the world, mm -hmm. then really sin entered right through Abraham. Yeah. Wow. That What a way to change the doctrine. Yeah. So it's all Abraham's fault. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Verse 13. For until the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed or counted when there is no law. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Death reigned from Adam to Moses. <laughs> death. That, ain't that what you just That's said? That's right. <laughs> Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. It came in what? <laughs> Through Adam. Then you start to understand it. Why? Because God gave Moses the law so you could <laughs> understand and see your <laughs> transgressions. Even over those who have not let's, seen. Go ahead, oh, well, go ahead. Go ahead. let's go back to Adam and Moses. Okay. So even back to Adam, where's Israel at? They have not <laughs> started to exist yet. Where's the Jews at? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Now, now, when you're standing here, let's keep it. Let's keep it like this. So now, they in the loins of Adam, right? Yeah. So go what? All of that special stuff you came out of the Gentiles. Uh -huh. Adam wasn't circumcised. Uh -uh. So what's all the? What's now, all if y'all got a scripture to say. Yeah, bring it. 248-607-0611. There you go. Show us where Adam was circumcised. Or he was an Israelite. <laughs> uh, let us see that. All right. <laughs> Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam. Who And why? 
Because after Adam, guess what? Mm -hmm. Everybody was born into mm -hmm. sin. Everyone. That's right. Who is a type of him who was to come. Mm -hmm. But the free gift is not like the offense. Mm -hmm. What is that? Wait, wait. Let's slow down at 15. But the free gift is not like the offense. For if by one man's offense many die. Uh -huh. And that ain't just talking about Israel. No, no, definitely <laughs> not. Much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man Jesus Christ abounded to many. And that ain't just talking about Israel. <laughs> not just talking about Israel. Right? <laughs> Sin didn't start because of Israel. And it didn't leave out because of Israel. It left out because of yes, God. Yes, yes. That's context. Period. Yeah. Verse 16 says, And the gift is not like that which came through the one who sinned. Mm -hmm. For the judgment which came from one offense resulted in condemnation. But the free gift which came from many offenses resulted what? In justification. Mm -hmm. So all this that happened to Christ results what? Mm -hmm. In our justification and mm -hmm. we believe on mm -hmm. him. And pastor, notice something else. It, except for me mentioning it, where do you even see it right in the text here? You don't. You don't. Moses wasn't an Israelite. <laughs> so, nah. Wait a minute, say it again. Oh, wait, Moses. Yeah, Moses. No, yeah, Moses. yeah, Moses. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I think you meant Adam. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, we, we, we made mistakes. <laughs> right, right, right. It says, and the gift is not like that which came through the one who sinned. For the judgment which came from one offense resulted in condemnation, but the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification. Mm -hmm. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. And can nobody keep you from it? Nobody. But you. It's a free gift. <laughs> has nothing to do with keeping the law. No matter how much I don't like you, <laughs> it's a free gift. That's what it says. So why I can't get this free gift? So I have to keep the law in order to get the free you gift. You know what it reminded me, Pastor? It reminded me of this. Remember Pharaoh? Well, uh, I know you do. Yeah, yeah. And right with Israel, the, the, the more God bless Israel, the harder he got the man. The man. Same way with the Gentiles. The more, the more God bless. The so-called Gentiles, uh -huh. these folks out to see counterfeits, the mad of the mad thing. Yeah. Mad. How did, how did you go back in time and take the attitude of somebody we know did yeah. wrong? Yeah. You're going to take the same attitude and use the same arguments? Just don't make no sense. And thank you, uh, Pastor, for uh, correcting me because That's all right, somebody would have been out there. Right, it, 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 we know we talk, but I knew what you meant. Right, right, uh, right. And we stand together. <laughs> I know what you meant. It says, verse 18, yeah. Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation. Uh -huh. Whose offense? One man's offense, uh -huh. resulting in condemnation. Uh -huh. Even so, through one man's righteous act, uh -huh. the free gift came to all men. Resulting in judgment. So all men in the first part of it, uh -huh. all men. <laughs> yeah, so it didn't say all men didn't switch here and say to Israel. No, to all men. You can't change the test. Yes, yes. When you deviate, we understand that what? You are becoming a cult. Mm -hmm. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Uh -huh. So also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Uh -huh. Moreover, finally you get to the law. All right, there we go. <laughs> Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. What is he saying? Mm -hmm. That when you sin and you know, it will convict you even more, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to abound. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through the righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, Pastor, mm -hmm. I think this might be a good time that if you could explain what is the role should have been between Moses, yeah, I think you're right, between Moses and Christ. 
I'm gonna make sure I understand your question. Mm -hmm. You saying what? Is because it? remember, they were supposed to be a. When you well, got, life that's life. why I say Moses, because when God set them aside and mm -hmm. began to form them, mm -hmm. they were supposed to be in a. Because you taught it, right? Yeah, Isaiah 49. Right. They were right. supposed to be in a light mm -hmm. to lighten the Gentiles. Gentiles. Right. But they somewhat, and I say somewhat because we still get the scriptures through right. here, mm -hmm. but they somewhat failed mm -hmm. in their task. <laughs> I'm being nice. You're being nice. <laughs> being nice. <laughs> you know, folks they're jump on me with it. They're you know what I'm talking about? They did. They did the Messianic Jews come in? They didn't came back. Yet. I said, wait a minute. All I'm doing is reading the Bible. <laughs> Fact is, mm -hmm. you got some Israelite mm -hmm. who came out and joined the body of Christ. And they did the work. Mm -hmm. But they did it where? Mm -hmm. In the body of Christ. Yeah. The nation, uh -huh. as far as we see, uh -huh. they didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And then, when they come back in, mm -hmm. the church age over. Yeah. So then you don't get to do it then. Right. You get to walk up right, right in right, the millennium right, period. Right, right. And it didn't catch God by surprise, but He set them. He took and set them apart. Not that they was uh, special or that they had it going on. Amen. They were sinning like everybody else. Amen. And, and doing worse because you knew better. Yes. You had the law. Yes. You knew what you, yes. what you weren't supposed yes. to do. And he took and watched you and gave you laws and began to form you. And we ain't got time to go through all that tonight. Mm -hmm. But even while Moses was up getting the, <laughs> the, 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 the laws and commandments, uh -huh. <laughs> what, they, what some of them want to call the church, <laughs> they thought it would be, Making a golden calf and whatnot. So the, the point of what we're saying is God was setting them down. They was, people should was supposed to look at Israel mm -hmm. and see that God, that was a, 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 a true and a living God mm -hmm. in the midst of his people. Mm -hmm. and, and looking at them should have caused others to want to, as a matter of fact, it did. It did. Right. Caused others to want to join them. Mm -hmm. But as they went off and then we know God punished them. Why? Because they had the law. Exactly. They had the holy, they had the, the, the law, the priests, and all of them went into captivity. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the fringes, yeah. everything yeah. was scared. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. And so so now here come Christ to redeem. Mm -hmm. uh, not just Israel, but it was promised to Israel. Mm -hmm. But it was for the whole world, which is the job they should have been doing in the first place. But God already know, going all the way back to Genesis. All these things were written for our learning. Amen. And in Genesis, he says, you understand, about the seed of woman. A woman don't have no seed. That's right. And in order for this to happen, we know it's got to be a supernatural act. Amen. And folks are stumbling over, well, a woman can't get away without a man. Everybody know that. Wait. That You should be hollering God. Exactly. Listen, you want to trample over the woman, make her look bad, but guess who brought yes. the Savior of the world in? Yes. A woman. Yes. Hey. I love my mom. Yes. She taught me well. Yes. Yes. They talk about it. And, and, and even in the text, he says, anything impossible too hot for God? If God can take, I can't take how God took dirt and made, <laughs> and made a man. Exactly. So why am I going to be talking about what, can't, what God can't do to a womb of a woman? Of a woman. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pastor. It took a real from a man. I can't. Wait a minute. I, I can't even explain. Let me explain this. Pastor, well, we said it before, we said it again. Some things are above our pay. Yeah. But well, we know so much. That's right. That's yeah. what they say. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Definition again a cult is a sect or religious system that promotes. Doctrines that deviate from those of Orthodox Biblical Christianity. Now, where we're going to go is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And this is the R in varies. Remember, all cult varies from the doctrine. Mm -hmm. Here's the R. Resurrection. Verse Jesus one. Christ. Uh-uh, you want three through six. Okay. Jesus Christ was raised from the dead in bodily, physical form mm -hmm. and was seen on earth by many. Mm -hmm. However, Herbert Armstrong's Worldwide Church of God taught that Christ was revived spiritually and was no longer human after the resurrection. Wow, sounds like them um, crafty Jehovah Witnesses. Mm -hmm. And Pastor, we tell them we go wherever, wherever error goes. So, even though a lot of times we kick in the Hebrew, I'm like to think of the name of that organization that he, in fact, it's the, the Herbert Armstrong. Um, 
which group it was. Is yeah, I, I know, but I can't say it. Red, Red Armstrong, go keep teaching. Okay. It'll come to me, man. All right, so we here. First Corinthians. It says, "For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried." And that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that he was seen by Cephas, then by the twelve. After that he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present. But some have fallen asleep. After that he was seen by James, then by all the apostles. Then last of all he was seen by me also, as by one born out of due time. Right? For I am the least of the apostles who am not worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. Wait a minute. Now, Paul was from the, from the tribe of Benjamin. He was an Israelite. But notice he didn't say that the church started in the wilderness. He know exactly where the church started because he did what? He persecuted the church. For I am the least of the apostles who am not worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than, than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. Therefore, neither was it I or they. So we preach and so you believe. Mm -hmm. And what did he preach? Mm -hmm. He preached Christ. After he was knocked off the horse, he was blind for three days. What does it say happened to Paul when he got his sight back? And he immediately preached Christ. Paul was a Pharisee. He knew the law like the back of his hand. So now, who better to God to, to, uh, to bring over than somebody who knew the law very well so that he can show the difference mm -hmm. between what Christ was talking about and what the what law mm -hmm. was saying? And people want to keep saying that, you know, those things that Paul said, they hard to understand. Mm -hmm. We got the whole road. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to understand if we can read and we can see the actions that's right, of what that's happened? Right, that's right. It's not that's that right. hard. Unless you're fighting against it. Exactly. Yep. You're kicking against the guard. If that be the case, the, the gospel hard to understand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, we know it is because you, 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 you're struggling over Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> and it's telling you Hell. <laughs> he didn't know her. <laughs> he did not know her. <laughs> well, <right>. well, <laughs> and them Christians take us out today. Stay with the Bible. Here's the thing, too. <laughs> Pastor, like I said, we're dealing with cult doctrine. And like I was telling people earlier today, <clears throat> if you steady attacking the body of Christ and you never attack Satan, who are you working for? <laughs> Because we know a tree by its fruit. Mm. You can't tell me that the Bible, I haven't seen a, a scripture yet where God talks against Christians. Mm. He doesn't say one mumbling word mm. about Christians and calling them bad, right? Mm. Now, I ain't saying that God's a mumbler or none of that. Mm. But all I'm saying is in my human terms, he doesn't say one bad thing about Christians. Mm. We see him all upside the head of false teachers, mm. false uh apostles, false prophets, and Israel mm -hmm. against different nations, mm -hmm. but not against Christians mm -hmm. because true Christians are followers of Christ. Mm -hmm. They are doing the things that they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Now, he had some warning against some of them churches. Yeah, yeah. And he had some warning against them because they were doing some things that they shouldn't have been doing, but mm -hmm. that still don't mean that they won't get in. That's right. They That's just right. gonna lose some of the, some of the uh, rewards that they will receive. Mm -hmm if they don't turn back mm -hmm. and do what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing that they do in the word buries, they intact the eye, which is what? The incarnation of Jesus Christ, mm. God in the flesh. So let's go over to John 1. Good place to go. I was in that earlier. Amen. <laughs> the incarnation, Jesus Christ, who is God, took on human form and was fully God and fully man. What's that called, Pastor? Fully God, fully man? Oh, come on. I can't you know it started with an H. Oh, I said it here. There you go. Amen. I couldn't think for a minute. That's all right. That's why we help each other. <laughs> Amen. It says, however, the way international teaches that Jesus was the logos, the expression of God, but not God himself. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Genesis, John 1, 1. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mm -hmm. now, you got the blue letter on here, right? Yep. That's plural letter. Now they say he was just the expression of God. And you know, some say that he was the, the, the thought in God's mind and all of that. Oh, what is the fuck? Second one, blue letter, Bible. Oh, no, right. that's the blog. Okay, sorry. Okay, come on, go back, go back. Blue letter, Bible. Come on, is you? That is. Ah, I should have put the Yeah, I had it in there, but that go ready. That's what we want. Okay. Huh? I think the scripture wants it. All right. It says Bible search and study tools, blue letter Bible and blue letter Bible Wikipedia. Right here, right? Yeah. There we go. Amen. Uh -huh. And we John, John, John 1 1. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was, can we pull that up with, can we pull that there? says translate in the following undo prose a strengthened form a preposition of direction mm -hmm. forward to i.e. toward so with what here we go pastor mm -hmm. with toward mm -hmm. face to face mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. not in his mind mm -hmm. but there that's with right, him that's right that's right that's right this is something that I learned from the late great Dr. Uh, Walter Dr. Martin. Martin. <laughs> Dr. Walter Martin. Mm -hmm. I think they see this is the great thing about videos, Pastor. Mm -hmm. We can be dead and gone. That's right. But the video is gonna still That's be right. here That's for right. other people to That's watch. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So I'll read this again. Mm -hmm. Prose, a strengthened form of G4253, mm -hmm. a preposition of direction, mm -hmm. forward to or i.e. also and toward. Mm -hmm. With the genitive case, the side of, right? Mm -hmm. notice the side of, mm -hmm. I, or i.e. also pertaining mm -hmm. to with the dative case by the side of, near to, usually with the accusative case, the place, time, occasion, or respect, which is the destination of the relation, whether or, or for which is predicated, right? Mm -hmm. About, according to, against, among, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. as it says, in the beginning, God in the beginning was the word and right. the word was with, right? Mm -hmm. Standing or toward what? Face to face. Mm -hmm. Right? Not in his mind, not an afterthought that's coming mm -hmm. later. In the beginning. And where do we go? We went right back mm -hmm. to the Greek. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Mm -hmm. He was in the beginning with God. Verse 3, all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. Now All we, things? All things. Okay. Wait. All things were made through him, right? Mm -hmm. So we know that what Jesus Christ was not made mm -hmm. in eternity past. Now, he was not made, as the Jehovah Witnesses claim. He was also not evil mm -hmm. and had to be separated from God and That's then right. made, as the Gnostics claim, right. because what he was there in the beginning. And I always ask people the same question, right? Mm -hmm. Where's God's beginning? <laughs> so if Jesus was there in the beginning, mm -hmm. then he's always been there because he is what, like we said over in Revelation, the first and the last, the mm -hmm. Alpha and Omega. He is the exact same thing that is said for the Father. Where is that at in uh, in the Old Testament? Is it Deuteronomy 6, 4? Matter of fact, no, I'll, I'll try to find it right quick. I know it's Revelation 1, 8, but it's also said for the Father, I am the first and the last. So many. Yeah. It, it, it just Besides me, there is no God. Right. 
Oh, well, dude, we can look at Isaiah 43 and 45. Yeah. You know, I just was trying to get that one specific. Don't worry about it. Uh, you got Isaiah 41 and 4. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isaiah, well, that's 9 and 6, but let's try Isaiah 41 and 4. Who has performed and done it, according to the generations from the beginning? I am the Lord. I, I the Lord, am the first, and and with the last, I am He. Did I read it right? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. says, "Who who has performed and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? Mm -hmm. I the Lord am mm -hmm. the first, and with the last, I am He." Mm -hmm. Right. And you didn't think it was Isaiah forty. Three. Oh, we can go there, Isaiah 43. I'm thinking 43, 46. There's so many of yeah, them. Uh, uh -huh. 45 and 10. Uh -huh. Isaiah 43. Isaiah. 43. Come on, Robert. You are you on 43 and, and 7. 10. 10. Well, that might well that's one of them. Uh, I know Isaiah 43 and 10 is one of them. It says, You are my witnesses, says the Lord. And my servant who I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. Right? Click on this. You also got uh, Isaiah 44 and 6. I think that's the one I want. Okay. Tell and bring forth. Let them take comps together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it? Have not I the Lord, and there is no other God beside me? So we're going to 46. Mm -hmm. No, 44 and 6. 44 and 6. So the only thing that explains it is the word that's not in the Bible. Trinity. Yeah, that's it. says, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, mm -hmm. the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. I am the first, I am the last. Beside me there is no God. Now mm -hmm. notice, hold on, hold on. Notice how this is joined together. Mm -hmm. Because it's two people saying this. Mm -hmm. Let's listen. Or two persons. Thus says the Lord, the King, King of, of Israel, Israel, and his, his Redeemer, Redeemer, the, the Lord, Lord of hosts. hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Beside me there is no God. Mm -hmm. End quote. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there you go. Unless you don't understand that they both just said the same thing, mm -hmm. you might be lost in translation. But see, but that's why when we go back and say, God says, I don't share my glory. I won't share my glory with another. Exactly. Yet in John uh, 17, mm -hmm. now Father, glorify me with the glory I had with thee, with thee. before the world was. was. Right, right. The, again, the only thing that explains that is what we call the Trinity. That's right. <laughs> One God uh -huh. who coexists uh -huh. as three eternal persons, the same in essence, substance, and nature, but different in office and position. Amen. Right. All right. Let's get to the uh, to the E. Eschatology. Mm -hmm. All right. Back to the definition. I'll read the definition first. Mm -hmm. I want people to keep hearing. A cult is a sect of religious system that promotes doctrines that deviate from those of orthodox biblical mm -hmm. Christianity. Mm -hmm. Now, eschatology. We're going to go over to Matthew 25. And you park at around 46 or you start at verse 40. Boy. Eschatology. After Jesus Christ visibly returns to earth during the end times, a final judgment is a certainty, sending the unrighteous to eternal punishment and the righteous to eternal life. Mm. Matthew 25, starting at verse 40. Mm. And the king will answer and say to them, As surely I say to you, and as much as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. Pastor, can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to here? He's talking to Israel. Oh, mm -hmm. constantly, mm -hmm. when there's something bad to be said, <laughs> he's talking to them. 
and, and listen, and we not against Israel. That's we right. against that's these right. guys playing to be that's Israel. Right. That's right. That's not uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry. And Wait a minute, Pastor. So hell wasn't even prepared for man. No. Mm -hmm. Wasn't even prepared for man. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, mm -hmm. let the Hebrew Israelites tell it. Esau got first class tickets <laughs> even though it wasn't even made for them either right <laughs> then he will also say to those on the left hand depart from me you cursed into everlasting fire prepare for the devil and his angels for I was hungry and you gave me no food I was thirsty and you gave me no drink I was a stranger and you did not take me in naked and you did not clothe me sick and in prison and you did not visit me Wait a minute, Pastor. Now hold, hold your horses mm -hmm. right here. All the stuff that you said, is this just talking about brethren? No. Because another could just say, love your enemy. Love your enemy. <laughs> and the same thing that you described that you do for the brother, uh -huh. you do for the, the enemy. enemy. And yet, these folks don't want to help Esau do nothing. But they steady want to support Satan. Notice they never attack Satan. You hear nothing. Of demonology, nothing of Satan, <laughs> nothing of attacking his uh, mm -hmm. false kingdom. Mm -hmm. Just the white man. Could it be because that's where they're getting their power? That is where they're getting that strong but wrong mm -hmm. doctrine from. Mm -hmm. Right? I know that you are the enemy of the gospel because mm -hmm. you never attack Satan. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Verse 43 I was a stranger. And you did not take me in naked, and you did not clothe me sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer him, saying, Lord, when do we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked, or sick or in prison, and did not minister you, to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it not, did, that you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And they will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous mm -hmm. into eternal life. Mm -hmm. Right? Same thing that um, Abraham was talking about. The righteous and unrighteous. Right from the beginning. Righteous, mm -hmm. unrighteous. Not who was favored. Not who was called by a name. Righteous, unrighteous. Mm -hmm. If there be one, if there be five, if there be ten righteous people, mm -hmm. save them all, Lord. Mm -hmm. That's what Abraham proclaimed to the Lord. He didn't say, oh, well, they not of us. Oh, they don't got their fringes on. Oh, they not of my loin. He said righteous and unrighteous. Pastor, do you remember, you know what I'm saying, when Jesus was in there and he beheld, beholding the eyes, the scriptures say, beholding uh -huh. the disciples' eyes. They didn't even know who he talked to. Where you mean that you don't know all these things? Jesus or, or angel, one of his angels, mm -hmm. could be right in the midst of the so-called Hebrew Israelites. Where your friend is at? Right. Walking past as a white yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Persecuting. Yeah. Yeah. And then, God, look at you. I sold you over in Hebrews chapter 13 that some of you would unwittingly mm -hmm. meet angels. Yeah. I guess you thought that was fallacy. Mm -hmm. That was wrong. But So I tell us all, for, for the Christian, you better be careful how you treat every man. Every man. Mm -hmm. Every man. <laughs> Don't take no chance. That's right. <laughs> Either one to think you that a sinner. Look what look at all what Paul. We want, we could really go ourselves there. But look at all what Paul would do. Who would have thought Paul would have got saved? Exactly. Based on what we think. Exactly. No. <laughs> they weren't even gonna trust Paul and, and that guy told him. Yes, yeah, yeah, he yeah. is a chosen vessel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another thing I want to say, Pastor, mm -hmm. ain't it strange? Now I know some is learning, but ain't it strange how folks be every time you post something they just all over it, but they never called in. Me and, oh, me and you just talking back and forth. They never called in with no facts and evidence. You don't, I, I can't even say how many scriptures you done went through tonight. Surely, with all that, that them crickets chirping on the side, Pastor. and yet silence. Because they know. Mm -hmm. you know that's, you, I don't think you was there that Monday night. But mm -hmm. I know you heard about it. When the Hebrew Israelites came to the church, it was a couple years back, about two, oh, okay. maybe three years now. Mm -hmm. They came to the church, about five or six of them, mm -hmm. on a Monday night Bible study. Mm -hmm. I invited them. Uh -huh. Come on in. 
They told me they was going to tear it up, right? Mm -hmm. They shut church down when they come in church, right? Mm -hmm. I laugh. I say, if y'all can't handle me, I know you can't handle yeah, the guy that's no. teaching me. <laughs> Ain't no way. You done invited them to strictly biblical. I, I invited them to strictly <laughs> biblical. And the whole crowd watched <laughs> as the spanking began. <laughs> I am saying, mm -hmm. you can say what you want, but you can't beat the scripture. Mm -hmm. No get it. We got one more part, right? Mm -hmm. On this part. Okay. The S in the word varies. It's dealing with scripture. Mm -hmm. And where we going to go, we can start at uh, Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs 3? 30. 30, okay. Scripture. The Bible is wholly inspired by God without error in the original writings and revelation. And it is the only authority for righteous living. We can start at Proverbs 30, verses 5 through 6. Five, there we go. Mm -hmm. And it says... Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. Mm -hmm. So we can found some groups tonight that's liars. Mm -hmm. They changing the word. They deviating from the word. They not sticking to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Probably remind me the young man said when uh, Pastor Roberts was, not Pastor Roberts, when Pastor Baker was talking mm -hmm. to him. And because uh, the young man felt, you understand, that folks should be able to play rabbits all over the place. Yeah. You know. And so and, uh, so Pastor Roberts, Pastor, Pastor Baker take, took him to, was talking about um, uh, in Genesis where it says, let, um, where, God is, where God is joined together, mm -hmm. let no man um, separate. separate and let two be one flesh, blah, 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 blah. And so the man wanted to say, um, oh, and he said, so he was married. Mm -hmm. That's, that's big said he was married. Right. And the young man says, you see it? You ain't supposed to add the scripture. You take away from it. It didn't say they was married, but it says he took his wife. Right. <laughs> what else you going to call well, it? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say they was married. He took his wife. <laughs> you, how that so funny, yeah? See, no, it's to, to me, it reminds you of the ones, and I think, yeah, we, was it your video today? I think it might have been. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because we do so much today. What, what the folks say, um, um, oh, Jesus never said I'm God. Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. they want to see the three were in, in, in the said it's, Oh, it was just day, yesterday. It was yesterday when we was teaching. I know, yeah, yeah. I remember. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, the Bible says all kinds of which. <laughs> mm -hmm. I so, am. <laughs> when you look at it, too, in the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. the things that Jesus Christ revealed, mm -hmm. he revealed in there that he was God. Mm -hmm. Period. And there's no getting around it unless you just don't want to believe it. Yeah. And the Jews of that day, <laughs> they knew. They're picking up them stones. Uh, it's only the counterfeit. That's right. <laughs> here it is, too. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at some other things. But here, let's run over to uh, 2 Timothy 3.16. 2 Timothy 3.16. Like dealing mm -hmm. with scripture. Says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Right? Well, see, I believe some of it, but I don't believe it. I don't believe everything in there. Well, it says all scripture uh -huh. is given uh -huh. by inspiration of God. Uh -huh. Well, but it's been changed. <laughs> <laughs> well, show me the part that's been changed. That's all I want to say. And, and nobody never. They come never produce it. They, yeah, they say it, but they never produce it, right? <laughs> so we we didn't identify a lot of this, and, and there is a lot more mm -hmm. that we can identify as far as dealing with cults and who mm -hmm. teaches what and all that. But understand one thing: that when they're cult, they are going to vary the doctrine. The mm -hmm. doctrine is going to vary. They're going to change things from what. The Bible says they're gonna change the intonement. Mm -hmm. They're gonna change the incarnation. Mm -hmm. They're gonna change how you are to walk, mm -hmm. right? 
What we have to do is be good Bible students mm -hmm. and constantly study and know what the Bible teaches That's so right. that, you know, we can understand for ourselves, mm -hmm. right? And Pastor, even, and that's not just an odd day. When we go back into, like, we, I'm telling you how I talked to a young man today about Islam. Mm -hmm. They had these folks teaching. One you brought up tonight, I believe, the, 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 the Gnostics. The Gnostics, right, right. You see it in what it said, like you see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you had folks that was challenging and thinking that they could easy. So the church has always been fighting. Amen. Everybody ain't a believer. Everybody is not a believer. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get some of these people yeah. to change yeah. their belief system. Mm -hmm. Right? Something I want to look at. Oh, I know where it was. About Jesus Christ, right? Because we're always talking about the things that he commanded and the things that he should do mm -hmm. and all of those things that we told to do. Let's look at a couple scriptures, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to look at some characteristics of his sheep. Mm -hmm. And I want to see, while I'm bringing this up, the characteristics of his sheep. Now, these are the words of Jesus, these things that he taught. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he says his, his sheep keep the law, his sheep got on fringes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> his sheep have to be from the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. all right? Let's go to John chapter 10. John 10. Uh, we're going to start verse 27, I believe. 27. Mm -hmm. And it says this. No, I'll start at 25. Just back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or 22. 22, right. The shepherd knows his sheep. Let's see how he mm -hmm. describes how mm -hmm. his sheep are mm -hmm. known. Now it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem. And it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then who? The Jews. Jews surrounded him and said to him, how long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. <laughs> Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe the works that I do in my Father's name. They bear witness of me, but you do not believe because you are not of my sheep. Mm -hmm. As I said to you, my sheep hear my voice. Mm -hmm. One distinction. And I know them, and they do what? Follow me. me. Second distinction. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Mm -hmm. So we see what? His sheep hear his voice. Mm -hmm. His sheep follow him. Mm -hmm. He ain't said nothing about keeping the law. Mm -hmm. He said nothing about having uh, fringes on. Mm -hmm. But here's what the, tr the true mm -hmm. sheep do. Mm -hmm. Right? What we do understand is this. That when uh, shepherds raise their sheep, right? Mm -hmm. The sheep won't go with other people. Mm -hmm. And back in those days, they named the sheep. Mm -hmm. And when a sheep heard your voice, the sheep came to you mm -hmm. and you alone. Mm -hmm. Sheep wouldn't go with nobody else. Mm -hmm. Here's another thing. Here's another way that we know. Let's go over to John chapter mm -hmm. 6. And Pastor, before you, before you go there, uh -huh. I want to dive right here. Don't okay. you say, I and my father are one. The question becomes, one what? Well, based on what he said, the Jews knew what? One well, God. What, what God? <laughs> <laughs> they immediately picked up stone. Some folks want to take and say, that, oh, that just means that they was in agreement. Well, they don't need to pick up no stones. If you agree with God. Right. What is it? <laughs> Blasphemous agreement. What is yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they knew exactly what he meant. Amen. Mm -hmm. They did. Where are we going? We're going over to uh, John chapter 6. John 6. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's go, to, let's go to 4 and 14 first, and then we'll go to John 6. And 14. Starting at verse 14. Now, back up a little bit, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Give me 12 or 13. 12 will do. 13 will do. Mm -hmm. It says this Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of what? This water mm -hmm. will thirst again. 
For whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into what? Everlasting life. Right? Now, let's go over to 6. We're going to start at about, I believe, 35. 635. Yeah, 35. It's kind of long. 35. Yeah, we started at 35. Might as well. It's a good place. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. Could Muhammad say that? No, Muhammad can't say Buddha? that. Buddha? No. Farrakhan? No. <laughs> No, no. So, ain't no nigga going none of them. Ever. That's what Jesus said. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. Mm. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. Mm. Now, what they don't understand is this. Notice this. When you hunger, you come. You get the bread. Uh-huh. And he who believes shall never thirst. Mm. When you thirst, you have partaken of what? The blood, right? Mm -hmm. But I said to you mm -hmm. that you have seen me and yet do not believe. Mm -hmm. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. Mm -hmm. To come is to what? Take the bread. Mm -hmm. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Mm -hmm. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Why the law not mentioned here? Why the fringe is not mentioned here? Why the keeping of the Sabbath day not mentioned here straight from God the Son? Pastor, back to 38. Uh -huh. For I have come down from heaven. Who, can, who else can say that? Nobody. Nobody. You mean not one person? No. Come down from heaven? <laughs> no. On your own power? You need to come down? Now, first of all, angels angels are not people. Mm -hmm. But they've been sending on messages. Mm -hmm. But he says, I have come down I from heaven. came down from heaven. That's right. That's a bold statement. Very bold. <laughs> Very. At that point, you got to know who he is. Mm -hmm. He's telling you where he came from. Yes. Right? Yes. But all these folks want to keep talking. Deal with that. Yeah. They can't. They can. It, it, it's, uh, it's too powerful. For I have come down from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> Not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Mm -hmm. This is the will of the Father who sent me. That of all he has given me, I should lose nothing but should raise it up at the last day. And this is the will of him who sent me, mm -hmm. that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. Who does what? Mm -hmm. Who sees the Son and believes, believes. in him mm -hmm. may have everlasting life. And I will raise you up at the last day. Come on, Pastor, let's see. So, 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 oh, uh, yeah. So, we know what the will is. Believe. Believe. Period. Well, I believe this part, but I don't believe. No, believe. But see, you gotta believe with special clothes on. It's, it's just not there. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Cause what happens next? The Jews then complained about him mm -hmm. because he said, "I am the bread which came down from heaven." <laughs> So we know they weren't believing, right? They complaining. I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he says, I have come down from heaven? Jesus, wait, before you, before you go, uh -huh. And these other folks, oh, he was just a good prophet. You don't believe this here? He was just a good man. <laughs> what other prophet it. said he came down well, from well, heaven? None. He might tell you, the Lord spoke to me from heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he... But the son said, I came, I came down, down from heaven. From heaven. <laughs> Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Do not murmur among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. Wait a minute. <laughs> so if you ain't getting drawn, you can't come. Mm -hmm. hmm, God says in the Old Testament, he's looking for what? 
Well, those with a contrite heart. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of heart did Israel have? <coughs> Wasn't contrite. Mm -hmm. Verse 45, it is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Mm -hmm. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from God. Mm -hmm. He has seen the Father, most assuredly I say to you. He who believes in me has everlasting life. Mm -hmm. To believe is to get what? The bread. We've seen that already. Mm -hmm. I am the bread of life. And then he says it. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and are dead. <laughs> Didn't do a bit of good. A bit of good. Neither is your friends. <laughs> no. This is the bread which comes down from heaven. That one may eat of it and not I die. die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, mm -hmm. he will live forever. Okay, Pastor, you know we got to explain that. Okay. Right, because we started seeing folks die. So then the course become, well, what do you mean then? What do you oh, say? Well, so. Oh, go ahead. No, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, the first thing we know, you understand, Hebrews 9, 27 says is what? Appointed for man once to die and after that the judgment. So then we know Christ can't be talking about that. Mm -mm. Right, right. And, and then I'm, I'm going to bring another way around mm -hmm. where it could get that. Mm -hmm. But the first thing he knows, and then he's, listen, they come on, blah, 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 blah. He should live forever. So this is talking about the resurrection. Amen. Now, the death that he talked about, the Bible tells us where you went early about that second death. Because we know it's more than one. The right, Bible speaks. chapter 20. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we also know that the Bible's many for those that 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 fall in, that, may, that we can say that fall into the Hebrew, mm -hmm. it's called sleep. Right, right, right. Sleep. So you know, we we say it's death, uh -huh. but the, but the guys say they're just sleeping. Goodbye. Just sleep. Cause I'm gonna wake them up. <laughs> he did that with Lazarus. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So all these things when we start thinking in the context, you know, like, cause God can't lie. Definitely not. When he even in um, yeah, matter of fact, next chapter, no, the the two chapters over eight, seven fifty. You know what you want to say? 751, seven, no, 758. 758, I think it is. Okay. If a man keep on saying he should never see death. That's 58. Huh? That's 758. Try 751. And then it says, does our law judge a man? No, it's, it's 858. Okay. Right, right. right. I should I should, should know in that false doctrine. We should say it all the time to show, see, you ain't got to die. Right. Uh, <laughs> Say what 51? Eight, no, try, try eight. Yeah, 851. Most assuredly, I say to you, if That's anyone it. keeps my word, he shall what? Never see death. Right. So then the question is, what do Jesus mean by that? Mm -hmm. Because scripture don't contradict, contradict itself. Mm -hmm. The death that it's talking about is the lake of fire. Right, right. Eternal, right, right. eternal, eternal separation. Eternal, yes, right, right. Amen. And so now, now, with that being said, we see example with with uh, Elijah mm -hmm. and whatnot. You know, uh, yeah, with Elijah, we see it with. Uh, oh, come on, help me out with Enoch. The, Enoch. 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 Okay, I said, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm switching around, but you know what I mean. Right, amen. But now, one thing we know, they was changed. Amen. Huh? So God can do that. In other words, He can stay to death. <laughs> right, right. And no. one way or another, you're gonna be changed. changed. Whether right. you were dead or whether you alive, if you go to heaven, you're gonna be changed. But the death that it's talking about there, mm -hmm. you understand, it's talking about the lake of fire. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Right, verse fifty. Mm -hmm. This is oh, the bread. Because of, can I ask it? Come on. Because if it's not, right. wait a minute. Wasn't Paul apostle? Yes, he was. Didn't he? Didn't he die? Yes, he did. Right. What about James? Remember, they tell you. <laughs> Abraham. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. So they, they died. That's so right. it tells us. That, that, in other words, we ought to be asking God questions. Like you, the, when you were, where Abraham kept asking God right. questions. Well, Lord, wait a minute. It said the word. Well, what do you mean? And the, the scripture themselves, scripture verifies scripture. scripture. Mm -hmm. And see, but when you just go to one verse and zoom in on, on that, and, the, and run away with it. <laughs> then guess what? You're on your way to cultic activity. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and see, and, 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 that, and that's the point that you're proving because the doctrine that I was in, that false doctrine, we, and you've been there. I've been there. Because I catch you. Yes, so you can hear for yourself. Yes, you did. <laughs> right. They said, to understand, that, that you ain't got to die. 
<laughs> right, right. We're that was yeah. that was the doctrine, and we would even give an ex example talking about saying them Christians running around talking about they got it down. The Lord love them best. Matter of fact, they said that the other uh, other other day out of context, okay. and uh, they and they said well, when you cut on the light, what the roaches do? Uh, they scatter. Even the roaches got more sense than the Christians. Even the roaches don't want to die. So all false doctrines start attack Christians. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta attack the body of Christ. See, and 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 because I've seen roaches run, uh -huh. it it delude no delusion. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what we say. If we didn't say law, but if you keep God's commandments, <laughs> just commandments. you can live. You can live forever. And when everybody else dies, you can just go get whatever house, cut. <laughs> Deviating. Your, your lesson will run right up. <laughs> Deviating yeah. from the doctrine. Yes. Amen, Pastor. Yeah. Amen. And listen, that's what we're here for, to show people mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying, a little, what does it say over mm -hmm. in 1 Corinthians? Pull it up, Pastor. 1 Corinthians. Uh, I think it's verse 5, chapter 5. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, chapter 5. 11. Uh, 6. About the 11? Yeah, oh, yeah, 11. Uh -huh. I thought you were saying 11. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. 1 Corinthians 5, 11. Verse 6, don't you? Oh, because <laughs> you said <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> see what they do? How they plant that <laughs> in your mouth? You have to see where you go. <laughs> there you and go. And it says this, starting at verse 5. Deliver such a one to Satan. Wait a minute. The doctrine talks about delivering people to Satan, but <laughs> these people out in the world. Same thing with the Hebrew, uh, with the Jehovah Witnesses. They ain't got nothing to say about Satan either. Mm -hmm. Deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your glory is not good. Mm. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Mm. Right? So now, all these false teachers out here don't know no one to attack Satan. But yet, he is the main character mm -hmm. in opposition to God. He is the one trying to sit in God's seat. That's right. And yet, nobody wants to talk about it. That's right. Pastor, go, don't, don't leave okay, seven hours. Right. Therefore, purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new lump. Now, he's just talking about the church. No. Oh, Corinthians, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Just the talking about the church. Okay. So then, you understand, mm -hmm. if I'm there and I'm spewing false doctrine, uh -huh. what the church got to do with me? Purge you out. See, but here's the problem, Pastor. Now you got the pastor and the, and the co-pastor wife. Uh-huh. Both. And so, uh -huh. so, and you got hard to kick them. <laughs> they uh -huh. own it. Uh -huh. <laughs> it so what you got to do? Leave. Leave. <laughs> yeah. Yep, verse 6 again. Your glory is not good. Mm -hmm. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Mm -hmm. Therefore purge out the old leaven that you may be a new lump. Mm -hmm. Since you truly are unleavened, for indeed mm -hmm. Christ, our Passover, mm -hmm. was sacrificed for us. Mm -hmm. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Pastor, did you read that verse uh, eight? Eight, because these folks want to kill calves and and stuff. But it tell us that Christ <laughs> our Passover is our fat verse seven. Uh -huh. Therefore, purge out the old leaven that you may be a new lump, since you truly are unleavened. For indeed, Christ our Passover was sacrificed <laughs> for us. Period. Keep the cow. Right. <laughs> they just split the law up and yeah. cut pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Made videos out there, there, out there. Splitting cows. And all that. <laughs> yes, so that's what we're teaching them. That's what we're showing. Mm -hmm. that right there, all of these things that they do are cult doctrine. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Period. We got the video. It's in the book. Mm -hmm. You put the, that one in there about the IUIC and uh, oh, it was, uh, I, yeah, yeah IUIC. I can't even see them. They're so I'm so many my tongue. <laughs> it's going they to make the ABC yeah, all over again. So when you, it's in there. You will see all of these things yeah. that I just taught on about mm -hmm. cult doctrine. Mm -hmm. You'll see that each and every one of these camps teach mm -hmm. that. So, Pastor, what you're saying, and not just the camp, because you didn't just hit the camp. No. You showed the Jehovah's Witness, more 
false doctrine, all of them, the same elements. Same element. It's all Co same, same words to be had. It's Satan. And none of them tackle. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. Come get your miracle at me. <laughs> God is good and wants all things, you know, for you to be blessed. <laughs> if, listen, if you suffer and you stupid, right? <laughs> God bad. said we supposed to suffer for mm -hmm. his glory. Mm -hmm. But yet, every time, no matter if it's a false church, whether it's Jehovah Witnesses, mm -hmm. whether it's the Mormons, mm -hmm. whether it's the Nation of Islam, whether it's the Black Hebrew Israelites, yeah. we see a deviation in mm -hmm. doctrine. You know what I compare it to? I compare it to the worst that I know about mm -hmm. in, our in our time. Hitler. Ah. If somebody mm -hmm. had to just check <laughs> why it was just a little leaven. Uh -huh. A little leaven. But then they let it kept growing. Then they became afraid uh -huh. to check it. Same thing that you go to hear with these false doctrines with these churches. Mm -hmm. Nobody challenged it. Then it becomes something. Give witnesses, and we ain't got time to go that tonight. When we go back and look at how it got started, mm -hmm. the Mormons, how they got started. Mm -hmm. Little something. Like, oh, that ain't about that ain't anchor. Now we got what? Packs, packs of cults. Growing on every corner <laughs> with fringes on. Yeah. If I lived in New York, then you come and tell me, hey, one right down the street from where you live. I'm the side of the there. But yeah. <laughs> That's all we can do. And not that we're afraid. Because oh, the yeah. Bible tells us they come. What we're trying to do is warn people. Because yeah. that's a price. Hell. Hell. That's yeah. it. That's the point. Yeah. Why yeah. they don't preach that? Well, all they do is come, come against Christian doctrine. Well, it, it's just a pigment of your imagination. That's what hell is. That's what they try to say. That ain't what God say. <laughs> That's a deviation of the scripture. Mm -hmm. I cannot deal with that. <laughs> You're not going to tell me hell is imaginary, but mm -hmm. heaven is real. You got some Jehovah Witness doctrine mm -hmm. going on now. <laughs> but they want them it. servants. <laughs> oh, yeah. They want servants. And they did want you tithes and offers. Yep, yeah, yeah, just did you just read? You supposed to be doing a servant? Yeah. And you looking for servants. And you looking for <laughs> Pastor, all we can do is keep preaching, mm -hmm. keep telling people the truth, keep telling them what to watch out for. Yep, yeah. Matter of fact, here we got a few more minutes. I mm -hmm. ain't gonna I ain't gonna shortcut nobody today. <laughs> you know what we gonna deal with here. <laughs> when you I said before the Lord you was at, I gave it all. I gave my all, Lord. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. We're gonna do some um some fighting against Satan, right? Okay. Where I want to go. All right. First of all, let's go over to uh, James 4. James 4. Uh -huh. You can start at verse 1. Okay. James 4 this is one. something. This is, what, this is one way that you go against Satan. You mm -hmm. resist him. Mm -hmm. It says, where, where do wars and fights come from among you? Mm -hmm. Do they not come from your desires for pleasure? that war in your members mm -hmm. you lust and do not have you murder and covet and cannot obtain mm -hmm. you fight in war yet you do not have because you do not ask you ask and you do not receive because you ask amiss mm -hmm. that you may spend it on your pleasures adulterers and adulteresses do you know what what that friendship with the world is enemy enmity with God they told, see, they told, told James, oh, mind your own business. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoever, therefore, wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy mm. of God. Just love everybody. Don't judge nobody. Mm -hmm. Or do you think that the scripture says, in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy, mm -hmm. jealously. But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Mm. Verse 7. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Wait a minute, Pastor. Wait, wait a minute. I got the devil up under my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that resistance? Resistance. <laughs> Talking about you got him under your feet. They didn't taught you a system that ain't working. Resist. It just gave you all the lustful things that you want and let you know that it was worn in your members. Yeah. But yet, you got him under your feet. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil. 
and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Yes. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, mm -hmm. and purify your heart. Mm -hmm. You double-minded, lament and mourn and weep. Mm -hmm. Let your laughter be turned to mourning mm -hmm. and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. And Pastor, back on seven, mm -hmm. notice what he told us to do. Before you do any resisting, do what? Submit to God. No submit. Ain't gonna be no resisting. Nope. It, cause he cause he ain't afraid of you. Exactly. See, when you when you submit to God, Amen. <laughs> there you go. that's the check. That's yeah. the check. And guess what? You know he can't come over there and mess with you. <laughs> Wait a minute. It'll be like uh in that way, way Paul I know uh -huh. and Jesus I know. Mm -hmm. But who are you? <laughs> there you, go. you better come in the word of God. Right. You better resist with resist. the word. Submit to God. And then too. God can still let Satan come against you. Yes, yes. that's right. Yes. To build you up. Cause that's I, right. What I what I figured out is this: the more he steady attacked, God mm -hmm. is allowing him to attack, mm -hmm. just like He that's allowed right. him that's to attack right. Job, right. to build you up, make you stronger, that's right. that's so right. that you can constantly mm -hmm. resist. That's right. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. You are gonna have some problems. See, that, that's Bible in context. In context, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Here, let's go a little further. Mm -hmm. Mary, here's a, oh, another now. main one. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians 6. You know what, too? Before we go there, let's go to 1 Peter. First we we'll go to 1 Peter. Peter, and then we'll go to Ephesians 6. 1 Peter. 1 Peter 5. 5. And Start at 1. Uh, uh, let's write it out. Y'all back to that. <laughs> it says, The elders who are among you, exo I exhort, I who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that will be re be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers. Not breaking everybody's pockets, mm -hmm. not telling them to uh, get you robbing God, but doing work, serving mm -hmm. as overseers. Not by compulsion, but willingly. Not for dishonest gain. Five hundred dollars my hotel room and all that. All that now. Stuff. Wait, Pastor, mm -hmm. we want you to uh, come over here and preach. Well, you know what? I'm gonna have room and board. And I'm gonna need fifteen hundred dollars to show up. Wait a mm. minute. And my entourage, I gotta bring them. Uh, with yeah, you. I need my uh, my water checkers and all mm. that nonsense. Verse two again. Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly, nor as being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples mm -hmm. to the flock. Got five thousand dollars suit on, fifteen hundred dollars gaiters. What example is that? That's right. That is not the example. That's right. Nor as being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. Pastor, instead of focusing on the word of God, everybody looking at what you got on. Looking at you, I'm wearing a whole bottle of cologne and all mm. that nonsense. Verse four. And when the chief shepherd appears, mm. the chief, the chief shepherd. Mm. And when the chief shepherd appears. You will receive the crown of glory mm. that does not fade away. Mm. Verse 5. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Mm. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And some of them walk around with one of these in the hand. Already devoured. Mm -hmm. Verse 9 says, Do what? Mm -hmm. Resist him, mm -hmm. steadfast in the faith knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by our brotherhood in the world. Mm -hmm. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, mm -hmm. strengthen, and settle you. Mm -hmm. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. How you fight the devil? Mm -hmm. You resist him and you submit to God. That's right. That's right. I asked the guy that earlier. He said, what you mean about fighting the devil? What you mean they not fighting the devil? How you do that? Now, he was being a smart aleck, but that told me one thing. 
He didn't know. He didn't know. Yeah. We can keep going. See, see, Pastor, what you said, I mean, it's so good, and we out of, almost out of time. Mm -hmm. We've been trying, and how do I know it? Because I, I've tried it myself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> And it wasn't working. It wasn't working. Like the dog. <laughs> Chasing your tail. Make, how they say it, say we go, you make two steps forward and two <laughs> steps back. back. It wasn't working. That's right. Ain't doing it on your own. I had to learn to submit to <laughs> God. Amen. <laughs> He's standing there all the time. Wait, okay, you got it. You go got ahead. It. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, guess you need training wheels, Robert. <laughs> Come on, we want Ephesians. We want to get this in okay. before we go. Chapter 6, amen. Ephesians 6. Mm -hmm. This is how you fight Satan. For all those who don't want to fight Satan mm -hmm. and want to talk about Esau. And with verse what? Oh, uh, you start at verse 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, sorry. It don't matter. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with promise, mm -hmm. right? That it may that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Mm -hmm. And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart, as to Christ, not with eye service, as men pleases, but as bond service of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord, and to and to and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. And you, masters, do the same things to them, giving up threatening knowing that your own master also is in heaven and there is no partiality with men. Mm -hmm. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. <coughs> Here it is, starting at verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God yeah. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, mm. above all, taking the shield of faith, with, it, with which you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, mm. and take the helmet of salvation mm. and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Right? Mm -hmm. That's how you fight Satan. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. If you're not using these tactics, you might be somewhere trying to fight some people that's already extinguished by God. That's right. That's You'll be right. running around trying to fight Esau doing what? <laughs> Chasing your tail. Yeah, yeah. Ain't gonna do you no good. Yeah. Notice that the nation of Islam is fighting the white devil. Mm -hmm. And that uh, the black Hebrew Israelites is fighting the Esau devil. <laughs> but none of them fighting the real devil. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. need to wake sitting up. sitting back laughing at them. Laughing. Like, look at these clowns. Mm -hmm. Strong and wrong. Mm -hmm but running in a circle. Mm. Not gonna help you or nobody else. A hate doctrine can never help you, mm. right? That being said, we're gonna pray. And, and Pastor, if we don't have time to go into the night, let me get it right. Uh, they don't even believe it is the devil. The, uh, oh, uh, come on, Robert. Baker. Uh, I, I can't say that name. Baker. Oh, uh, uh, dang it. Yeah, I know you're talking I know about we have Edie Baker. Uh, right. Yeah, what's what's the name? The, the, uh, uh, Christian. Christian Science. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. But it, no, it, death, Baker, it, everything Edie. is the, 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 so much that we can. <laughs> right. We need to do right. something on that, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing we need to we need to teach, start teaching on the mind sciences mm -hmm. and all of these other, mm -hmm. other things that's coming about. Right, right. right? We keep trying, but... 
I we know. keep getting pulled to them Hebrew Israelites. Like roaches. Just <laughs> keep coming out. <laughs> and, I, and I think because we see them in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. how they try to attract people out of it. Mm -hmm. And they're preaching this hate against our Christian uh, white Caucasian mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. So Amen. it forces a, a rat now. Amen. And, right, 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 right. But there's so so many. But like, like you said, when you learn the Bible and, and, and how to defend God will prepare you for whichever, whoever, whichever way they come. All them period, Amen. Think of it. That's a period that. That's a period that. That's a period that. Mm -hmm. And he he, he prepared yeah. you that's for right. that. And we stay in class all the time. <laughs> we all don't just come on and teaching y'all. Huh, like we like we know it all. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a man told me. I'm gonna play dumb and just keep looking into the Bible. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I know where that man was. I know him all. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna play it dumb. That's all right. I love it. I, I love, love it. nothing. Yeah, yeah. What teach, the page said. Teach me. Amen. Yep, yep, yep. Amen. Yeah, good. Another good lesson, bro. Amen. <laughs> all right, y'all. It is Friday once again. We will be here this Tuesday coming up, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Lord willing, we'll be teaching another subject. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything that you all want to look into, mm -hmm. hit us in the link. That's right. That's you know, right. So just put it on the side. If there's certain topics that's that you right. all want brought up, hey, mm -hmm. we we more than willing to teach them because we are that's not right. a one trick pony. We've been doing this that's thing, right. and I know, and with in doing it, God, what He gets the glory. Mm -hmm. Now our face might be on the book, but every scripture in Him is inspired by God. Mm -hmm. It is not our word; it mm -hmm. is His word. All He did is showed us how to defend and give this to others. Mm -hmm. Right? Brother, you have that the wrong way when you say our face might be on the book. No, no, it's that not. That ain't our face. Amen. All right, my, our faces might be on the back, <laughs> but. This is filled with God's word mm -hmm. so that you can do what? What Jude 3 and 4 says, mm -hmm. contend for the faith. And Pastor, real quick, and the reason we do that, because if we say something, we ain't trying to hide. No. We can stand up. That's right. We'll say it. And that's why we invite you to come come, come on. We don't, we don't, the goal is not to be nobody else. Let us read together. But that coming on, you know, saying, no evidence is just talking. Mm -hmm. Nobody got time for that. But you don't have to agree, but there's a way we can read together. Well, wait a minute, I don't see this. And, 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 and then demand that we go to the scripture. If it's history, demand that we pull the history. We pull it. That's reasoning to, to, together. Pastor, they've been taught strong in Rome. <laughs> Listen. Nobody, I know. I've no, been taught that way too. Look, nobody has time. The whole witnesses don't got time. You know, but anyway, we got to go. I yep. think it's stopped over there already. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you're still on your take, though. Okay, you amen. So, Lord, Heavenly Father, once again, we just want to give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for bringing us forth that we could contend for the faith. Lord, we want to thank you for all the times that you have let us go out and preach the gospel to those who believe and those who don't yes, believe. Yes. Lord, we want to thank you for all our brothers and sisters that go out and preach the gospel also. Lord, we want to thank you for Strictly Biblical. We want to thank you for Power, Hope, and Grace. We want to thank you for the Champs Ministry. We want to thank you for Pastor Baker. We want to thank you for every source that you have given us to contend for the faith and teach those who are around. Lord Jesus, we also, will, most importantly, we want to thank you for your blood that you shed on Calvary for all men. Yes. That any man who believes in you may have the bread of life and may have drink, eternal drink that will do what? Lead them to you. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you and say amen. 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 Okay, let's stop this. Let me stop.